And I'm joined now by uh, Jamie, who is a, an art dealer, independent art dealer, Jamie Vernon, and, um, and a GB News fan as well, Jamie, which is good to know. Um, how difficult is life, do you think, for people here at the moment in terms of meeting all the needs with the bills? Um, I think with everyone in the country, um, costs are going up and taxes are going up. Everyone's just struggling at the moment, I think. And what would you like the, the, the Chancellor to do today? What would help you in your business particularly, do you think? I think the problem is he's going to be messing around at the edges. Um, a penny here, a penny there is going to make no difference. They need a big, bold campaign, massive tax cuts, massive investment, um, and just take the pressure off everyone. They need to start getting some growth because at the moment it's just stagnation. It has been the last 10 years. The sense I've had from talking to people here as well is this idea that the vote doesn't really matter. Your vote in an election doesn't really matter. Nothing changes. Nobody listens to me. I keep hearing that a lot. Is that something you can relate to? Yes. Um, I've been a lifelong Conservative voter all my life. Um, I've cut up my membership cards. I look at them as the Consocialist Party. They're no different to Labour. They'll be a little bit the odd tweak here and there, but they're pretty much the same. I think that's what everyone feels now. And do you have any idea why that is? Like, what, do you speculate as to why there's so little between the two of them? Why they are no, are no longer a, a typical Conservative government? I don't know. Um, I think a lot of it happened to David Cameron. He brought a lot of the sort of wet side of the Conservative Party in. Um, and there used to be a broad church and the people more traditional Conservatives being pushed out and I think there's just this consensus of the city, institutions, the blob, to keep everything the same. I was also talking to one of the residents earlier about the huge Amazon factory that you've got up the road and how, yes, that's providing some employment, but very little, really, whilst it appears that a lot of those big corporations are being very well looked after, but the small business upon which this country was built have been left to go to rack and ruin. I think that's for the entire country. Um, the high street here is no different to high streets in other towns. If anything, there's a few more independents. The problem is, is when you get these massive corporations, offshore tax, um, they know how to work the system. They know how to get the um, as minim minimal amount of tax paid. Um, and unfortunately, with business rates, um, with lowering footfall, and of course, with the pandemic, it made it very easy for people to start shopping online, to their door. And once the footfall starts to drop, it's a vicious circle and there's just nothing left in the end. Yeah.